Yo, hey, how's it going, everybody? So this is Rob here from It's a Dire Thing, and I just picked up this awesome little LED light kit here. So this is the six pack that I picked up off of AliExpress. Uh, it would cost me around $20 within a couple of bucks shipping. Super cheap, super easy, very cool design. So um, basically all it is is a micro or a, yeah, a micro USB charger. So you'd actually get, uh, depending on how many you order, they come in pack of two, four or six. Um, you'll get uh, the same amount quantity of uh, USB charger cables, which I don't understand, but okay, whatever, that doesn't matter. Um, doesn't come with a USB port into the walls, but you can use it either off of your computer or most people do have them. And then you got a remote control. So it only takes a couple of seconds to actually charge it up. So basically what it is, you pull off the little, um, you pull off the little uh, waterproof cover here or the water resistance cover here. Um, and that's just a piece of rubber and just basically covers over the USB and then you would plug it up for five seconds and then you'll have some kind of blinky light or you're going to have a little red light showing that it is charged, fully charged. And then from there you can go ahead and power it on. So you, to do the first initial power or the first initial startup, it would be by holding the purple or blue and the red together. But once you've done that, then all it is is a simple on and off. And you do have a couple of different modes here. So let's turn them all on. If they don't all turn on, like here we only got the two, so you just got to press on again and keep turning them on until they all turn on. Once they are all on, you can either turn them all off again, turn them back all on, then you can cycle through all the different colors here. And as you can see, they got some pretty wicked colors. And it is fairly direct, and as you can see, they all change in the color the same way. So let's go into the red here. You have then three different brightness modes. So again, the less bright, the longer it will last. So there we go. So we're now down dimmed and then go back up to full blast again. So let's bring it down to lighter dim, just so it's not blinding on the screen here. Or you know what, let's go medium. Here we go, we medium. And then if you want to go into different modes, right, you can, there's all the different kinds of modes here. Uh, so you got single flashes, right? And then you can keep going, cycle through your modes. So by going plus, you would go up the mode and then going by minus, you would back up the mode, right? So every, every mode is slightly different. Right, you can change your colors while you're in the modes as well and still stay with the exact same mode as you're going, right? And then there you go. So this is all different multiple colors here because we did choose our two different colors. So it is gonna cycle through those two different colors. If I go red and then black, now it's, oh sorry, blue and then red, as you can see, it's gonna cycle through the blue and the red modes. And then you can kind of go into, well, there you go. So you got stro strobe fast blue and red at the same time change our different modes again. So there we go. We've got now double flash blue, double flash red, and then single flash, keep going through. And then if you're done with it, all you have to do then is just go back into your static mode here. You can click into auto and then it's gonna cycle through all the different features, different functions, right? If you're done with that, you can just go into any color that you want. You can just kind of back out of it, hit your static just again so it doesn't go into any of the modes flashing and stuff. And then you have your do it yourself. So you can actually program whatever you want in regards to what you want the lights to do, right? So, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward, pretty cool, pretty neat. And then let's turn it off. So here we can go again, see it. So there's two different ways that you can actually install this here. So you do have a rubber uh, mount system. So let's say if you got a frame, right? Or if there's a piping or whatever like that, it's basically, I'm only doing this with one hand, right? So let's say if it was gone a tubular frame or whatever like that. So you're gonna have the elastic that's gonna go on the one side and then you're gonna put your LED lighting on the other side. And as you can see, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, self-explanatory that the rubber band or the O-ring or the elastic, whatever you want to call it, will basically catch onto each side of these little catchers. Um, it also does come with Velcro tabs. Um, I basically already peeled off the one side and I've applied the other side already. So then now I got to do is just find the placement that I want to do and then peel and stick. So this way you'll always have the hook and fastener uh, placed to your uh, device that you're going to be putting it on. Personally, myself, what I've done is I've put the hook on the light side and then the, the softer part, right, is going to be on the unit or the side that will be placed onto the vehicle. Why? Just because it's a little bit cleaner, it's a little bit nicer to the touch. It's not as uh, abrasive if you have that on your unit, right? So there you go. But other than that, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Once you've done charging, you just basically put the rubber tab right back in. Again, I'm doing it with one finger. 
Um, there is a, a, a proper method for it to go in. Um, so again, one-handed one -handed, uh, assembly. There we go, perfect, right? So it's back in there. So again, it's not waterproof, so I definitely wouldn't be submerging these things under water, but it's probably somewhat sort of water resistant. So if you do get a bit of splash and a little bit of rain, I guess hopefully it's to the best. But you know what, for 20 bucks, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, worst case scenario, if something goes wrong, you just replace it. So there you go. You get, again, depending on the number of lights you get, you do get the same quantity of uh, USB chargers. You get a handful of the rubber rings and you get the same quantity of Velcro or loop and fastener with the controller and the battery is replaceable. That's a CR2025, so simple, simple, easy enough to get battery anywhere. It does come with the instructions. Again, they're not very uh, legible for most of us, uh, but there is a QR code that you do uh, scan and it will actually take you straight to a YouTube video that you can actually figure out how to do it. Um, again, it's not too complicated, very fun. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty cool, eh? So it's gonna go on the bike. So I'm gonna keep turning them on until they all turn on. Hello. Let's go into a static mode, turn on, turn on. There we go, now we're all on. Let's go into a red. There we go, click static just to make sure that they are staying on. And then there you go, got all your colors, right? So that's pretty cool, man. Till next time, y'all have fun, be good, be safe, take care, don't forget, keep it covered.